Factsverse presents Passengers on a Disney cruise spot something strange in the water. Before we get into the video, hopefully you can spot that like button and be sure to click it hard. And if you're already a subscriber, even then, be sure to click that notification bell. That way you won't miss any of our future videos. One of the most popular cruise ships in the world is a Disney cruise ship. For most people, it is a magical time that they want to remember always. On a recent Disney Magic Cruise, though, something strange happened. Passengers on this Disney cruise spotted something in the sea that shocked them. The story started on board the Royal Caribbean International Luxury Cruiser Oasis of the Seas. This ship, along with its sister ships Allure of the Seas and Harmony of the Seas, is one of the largest passenger ships in the world. It cost $1.5 billion to build the Oasis, and it took three years to do so. It took so long and it was so expensive because it is a theme park-like ship. It's divided into seven neighborhoods, and each neighborhood has different attractions. The ship has 25 restaurants, a zip line, an ice skating rink, rock climbing walls, a movie theater, a water park, basketball courts, shopping, spas, even Broadway musicals. It also has freshwater pools that are up to 18 feet deep, all on one ship. The ship is based out of Port Everglades in southern Florida. It's not far from Fort Lauderdale. Typically, it takes voyages every week and it stops at a few Caribbean destinations. On January 3, 2015, the ship set out on yet another one of its regular voyages at sea. The ship made all of its regular stops and the last port of call was Mexico's Cozumel Island. It was here that things got crazy. When the ship left port on January 7, a passenger woke up early and took a walk on the deck. Sadly, though, the passenger fell overboard. The mayor was caught on camera alone on deck 5 at 6.07 a.m. The 22-year-old man disappeared from view. When he disappeared, proper protocol wasn't followed. There was no man overboard alarm. Also, the ship did not stop to search for the man. The ship continued on as if nothing ever happened. After going over, the man was stranded eight miles from the port. He was drifting in the open sea. As the ship continued on its course, the man watched the lights disappear in the distance. Fortunately for the man, another cruise ship was operating out of Florida and was following the same path as the Oasis. At 7 a.m., the Disney Cruise Line's Disney Magic was passing by and someone on board saw the man in the water. Fortunately, people found him and his life was saved. According to Alfonso Rodriguez, the captain of the Port of Cozumel, the alert that was received from Disney's crew was the first that they had heard about the man going missing. The Oasis never informed anyone of the missing man. The man's name was Frank Jade, and he was spotted by Scott Campbell, who happened to be standing on the balcony of his cabin when he heard Frank calling out. Scott heard something and realized it was a man yelling, help me. Scott's wife Stephanie immediately contacted the ship's crew from her phone. A few minutes later, the ship's PA system announced, Mr. Mob, starboard side. That was code for a man overboard on the right side of the ship. Another passenger, David Hearn, heard the announcement and he knew what it meant too. When he got to the top deck of the ship, there was already a lifeboat in the water heading out to save the man. He was able to capture the entire rescue on video. At first, the passengers thought the man had fallen off of their ship. Soon after, though, they found out he had actually fallen from the Oasis of the Seas. Fortunately, the man didn't hit the sides of the boat or the lifeboat when he went down. According to Alfonso Rodriguez, that type of fall is like hitting the concrete and many people who fall from ships break their necks. Frank was incredibly lucky. He was taken to a hospital to be checked out and then he took a flight back to the U.S. He credits his life to the Campbell family and the Magic's crew. Frank's accident has many people wondering how safe cruise ships actually are. Many people believe that the railings aren't high enough and security cameras obviously aren't enough. If a man could go overboard without people knowing, that makes everybody wonder how safe they'll be on a cruise ship. What about you? Does this change your thoughts about whether or not cruises are a good or a bad idea? Would this stop you from going on a cruise? Tell us in the comments below and subscribe for more!